Hello and thanks for watching Otterbein. I'm Elijah Gonzalez. And I'm Jacob Bartman. This week at Otterbein, winter sports are getting ready to begin, students are getting involved in community service, and many organizations are planning some festive holiday events. But first, the Cardinal Corps leaders are a big part of service here at Otterbein. Alicia, Alicia Lawson caught up with one of the leaders to discuss what she does and how she provides for the community. Part of Otterbein's campus. Cardinal Corps leaders work hard to provide for the community. So Cardinal Corps leaders operate through the Center for Community Engagement and we get picked before we come to Otterbein. So coming in as a first year, I was already a Cardinal Corps leader. And after your first year, your first semester, you take over a weekly program and you normally co-lead it with another Cardinal Corps leader. Weekly programs can range from school activities to nursing home visits. So for my weekly program, since it's a girls mentoring program, we go to a middle school and we help the girls through um, just typical middle school girl things. So anything from bullying to self-image issues. The second annual Girls' Day just wrapped up, and it took a lot of time and planning for these students. We brought all of the girls from the 6th grade, 7th grade, and 8th grade mentoring programs to Otterbein, which they were super excited about, especially the food. Seriously, so much excitement. Um, and we had different workshops for them, so the theme for this year was how important education is for women. All students are welcome to get involved and take part in the many service events here at Otterbein. I like that constantly being surrounded by service. For This Week at Otterbein, I'm Alicia Lawson. The Office of Diversity is holding a fearless speech, a conversation on the Privilege Friday the 14th. This will be the beginning of a Making the Invisible Visible series. The aim is to raise awareness of invisible attitudes, beliefs, and practices that ensure we are creating an inclusive community. The event kicks off at 3.30 p.m. in Roush 114. All students are welcome to attend. The Tunnel of Oppression, Making the Invisible Visible, is an interactive program that will change students to think about the issues of oppression, power, and privilege. Participants will be guided through a 30-minute tour that will show different forms of oppression in our society. The Tunnel of Oppression is, a, is the second event in the Making the Invisible Visible, Expectations, a Model Community Series. The program will be held Thursday, November 20th from 4 to 7 p.m. and Friday, November 21st from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. If you would like to serve as a tour guide or volunteer to, for, for the event, contact Lisa Phillips at lphillips at otterbine.edu. The Cardinals do a lot of charity work here, here at Otterbein, and what the Cardinal Crusaders did was something special. Jay Corbett has the story. November 11th was the day that the organization Cardinal Crusaders came and wrote letters to raise money for St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Numerous people had helped with the event. So far we have like Ashley Strausser is our, one of our faculty advisors along with Brett McNulty and then it's just a few of us that are part of Cardinal Crusaders. Members. The event was a big hit with the students. Students from sororities to sports teams came by to write letters, but to the president of the Curesaders, this event meant more. It means a lot. Um, I was actually born with cancer, and so anything that's like cancer related, like kind of like type 2 is close to home for me, so it means the world to me. This is Jay Corbett, this week at Otterby. The library will be offering an International Student Game Day for all students on camp. International Game Day for all students on campus. The event will take place on Saturday, November 15th from 1 to 5 p.m. Students can use games provided by the library, the Gamers Guild, or can bring their own. Come bring your friends for an afternoon filled with prizes and refreshments. The Ross Leadership Institute series is underway and the next session will take place on Tuesday, November 18th featuring Doug Smith, who is a former CEO of Kraft Foods Canada. He will be giving a presentation titled Happiness, the Art Living with Peace, Confidence, and Joy. The event will take place in Roush 114 at 7.30 a.m. Well, being a music major here at Otterbein is almost a full-time job, if not more. From 8 a.m. classes to ensemble rehearsals and performances in the afternoon, evening, and weekends, the concept of free time is pretty much non-existent. Many students also teach private lessons and music classes at local schools. But for junior music education major and saxophonist Corey Black, it's all about doing what he loves. When junior saxophonist and music education major Corey Black knew that at a young age, the saxophone was the right instrument for him. 
But unlike most other saxophone players out there, his reason for becoming a saxophone player is a little bit different. I mean, it starts from an early experience. I had a really great saxophone teacher who was great. Um, my sister was in music before I was in music. The story goes, my sister was in band. She was a senior and dated this guy who was awesome. He had like long hair all the way down to his, his shoulders. And uh, he, he was just so cool. He had this great beard. And I was like, sweet, this dude's awesome. And he played saxophone. I was like, well, he looks cool. I want to be cool. I'm going to play saxophone. So it was all him. It never really was a jazz influence. In fact, I didn't really even start listening to jazz till later on when I started music, which is pretty interesting about me, people. And if Black were to sum up his dedication to music in just two words, it would be passionate and never satisfied. I'm never satisfied, yet I'm still passionate all the time. It's not just with teaching. I'm in four different groups outside of the school. I go and tour and gig around. And I only play with the people that I actually want to play. Not necessarily people that are the best, but the people who are going to walk up and perform with me and be there on the stage giving me everything they have in their music. You know, the importance of doing what you love. If you wake up every morning and you go in and you enjoy it, then you're doing things right. There will be a wiffle ball tournament that will take place Thursday, November 20th at the Clements Recreation Center from 5.30 to 7.30. The Center for Community Engagement is putting on the Home Runs for Homeless event. Students can sign up for teams of eight players by emailing Ashley Mead by Friday, November 14th. The registration is $5 per person and all proceeds will benefit the Mid-Ohio Food Bank. The first team place team will win a free wing night from Buffalo Wild Wings. With winter right around the corner, Otterbein is getting in the holiday spirit a bit early with the night of ice skating. Kappa Phi Omega and the Cardinal Corps leaders are coming together to provide a night of skating after dark for the Otterbein community. Students can join in on the fun on Saturday, November 15th from 8 to 11 p.m. Students will get the chance to skate under the stars while listening to live music and sipping on some hot chocolate. The event is free to all students and will take place in the campus center. Well, that does it all for news, but coming up after this break, Jalen's going to get us a little bit into the, uh, little bit into the sports, sports limbo as the Otterbein football team looks to end their season on a high note. of harmful rays will show up on your skin. Wrinkles, age spots, and an increased risk of melanoma, the second most common cancer in women 15 to 29. Stop tanning. Time may not be on your side. Learn how to protect your skin at spotskincancer.org. A message from the American Academy of Dermatology. All over America, we're no longer just sedentary, we're stationary. And that's bad news for your bones. Because bones need weight-bearing activity to grow strong and stay strong. So get up, get out, get moving. A message from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Never heard a word I say. The Otterbein women's soccer team suffered their first conference loss this season to Baldwin-Wallace in the semifinals of the OAC tournament last Saturday. Here's Justin Roberts with the story. The Otterbein women's soccer team looked to stay undefeated in conference play in the semifinals of the OAC tournament last Thursday as they took on the Yellow Jackets of Baldwin-Wallace University at home. Baldwin-Wallace struck first on a header from junior Cheryl Bell, but Otterbein tied up the game a little more than eight minutes later on a goal from sophomore Madison Birchfield that was assisted by Kylie Tuckfarber. The two teams stayed tied going into halftime 1-1. 
As the second half progressed, neither team looked as though they were going to budge until the 82nd minute when Baldwin Wallace scored on a free kick to give them a 2-1 advantage. The Yellow Jackets would hold on to this lead and go on to win 2-1. Despite this ultimately being the last game of the season for the Cardinals, head coach Brandon Coons had nothing but praise for the team. No, we keep saying that this team had a lot of uh, resilience. You know, They never gave up. They just fought and fought and fought, and I think that was evident out here today. And, even in the first half when we gave up the goal, there was no pouting about it. There was no, there was just like, hey, we got to get to work. And as things went on and it was getting tougher out there, I mean, they just never gave up. And it really is such an important quality, and it's the reason why they put another trophy in the case. Justin Roberts, Otterbein TV. The women's soccer team unfortunately missed out on the NCAA tournament, despite finishing with a record of 12, 3, and 4. Seven Cardinals did receive all OAC honors, including senior Alex Ancona, junior Julian Strimbu, and sophomore Madison Birchfield, who earned first team honors. The football team is preparing for their final game of the season this Saturday against the Polar Bears of Ohio Northern University. It's senior day for the Cardinals as they will honor their seniors and their families in a ceremony before the game. Kickoff is scheduled for 1.30 p.m. and it can be seen here on Otterbein TV. The men's basketball team begins their season Tuesday as they travel to Hiram to take on the Terriers of Hiram College. The Cardinals are looking to improve on their 4-22 record from last season. Tip-off is scheduled for 7 p.m. And not only are they looking to improve on that record from last season, but hopefully they can continue the trend that the uh, fall sports started in having junior Jillian Strimbu be the midfielder of the year and Zach Hamilton, who is leading the OAC in sacks right now. Yeah, it's definitely been a successful fall for Otterbein Sports and hoping for a successful winner as well. Well, that's all the time that we have for this week's show. On behalf of Jacob Jalen and the entire crew in the control room, I'm Elijah Gonzalez. We'll catch you next week.